Hi Julia. Hi. I'm going to take a few questions from you. Yeah. Um, talk to me about the 90 minutes out there. How was the match tonight? Very stressful. Yeah. Very beautiful as well. I think we... Yeah, everything was a little bit against us. We lost two players due to COVID. We lost our head coach due to COVID. The last, I think, 48 hours were very stressful for all of us. We were all in a new role, kind, kind of a bit but I think the players did an amazing job everyone I think everyone who came in played brilliantly but also the the starting 11 the energy that that was there on the pitch and around I think was just beautiful to experience and I think it just shows what what kind of team we are yeah how do you describe this team that you know has this adversity and steps back onto the field and puts on that kind of performance I think that that team is just just made for challenges yeah. I think we always say we never get an easy easy job we always get the hard challenges and I think the girls always show and prove themselves that they can deal with probably everything and I think it's just a beautiful experience for their development and just experiencing that the dynamic and the energy which has got here in the team is I think unique and it's just beautiful to be part of it. Talking about challenges, your semi-final is going to be very hard, either Japan or Spain. How does the team regroup and focus on that? I think if someone can do it, it's us. I think both teams are very strong. Japan and also Spain. We played Spain in the in the Euro finals. We we know what they can do, what they're able of. But I think every game also shows how hard it is against teams from all over the world. We played against American teams, South American teams, African teams. The US lost against Nigeria today, so no game is easy. We know if you want to make make it to the final, you have to take every challenge. And I think we're just ready for it. We just try to yeah, get the regeneration in now, get the legs ready for the next game. Germany and women's football has been a powerhouse always. You won the Euros, under 17 Euros now. You made it to the final of the senior Euros. The World Cup seems to be the only thing missing now, right? Exactly. We always say we are not journey and we don't want to stop. And I think we're not done yet. We said that before the game to the girls, we're just on our next step of the ladder. The ladder is still yeah. to climb up and there are two two steps missing and we want to take the next two steps and we, we're going to bring everything, maybe more than 100% to the next game as well. And then I think everything is possible. Personally for you, Julia, you're giving back to the, the German you know setup that sort of raised you. How important and how cool is it to be leading this under-17 side in the World Cup? Yeah, beautiful. Obviously, it was tough to take... Um, the head coach missing, yeah. obviously, that was a very tough challenge for all, all of us. We all found ourselves in a new role. I was, I'm just coaching a year now yeah. for myself. It's the first World Cup I'm, I'm experiencing as a coach. Today, we got kind of a new responsibility. It was also nice to experience it, but we're also happy to have our head coach back as soon as possible because we know what this team is made of also because of her. Fritzi is, I think, an amazing head coach, an amazing leader. She can manage the whole group, and I think the whole team played First of all, for her and also for the other two girls missing and for the stuff around them. I think everyone in the last, as I said, 48 hours did amazingly. We all did our 100% and I think it's just paying back a little bit for, for the ones who were missing today. Final question, how has India been treating you and the team as a country? Beautiful. I think we all experience uh, a new kind of culture, a new way of living as well. It's, it's beautiful to experience it for, for all of us, for the adults, but also for the, for the girls, for teenagers as well. We see new people, we see a new culture and I think we all wanted to stay until the end yeah. also to experience as much as possible about India and from India and learn about your country as well and I think all the people are so friendly, they all help us, we all do namaste all the time <laughs> just because we love that, that philosophy and the, the culture here and now we stay until the end so hopefully we experience a little bit more about the, the country. The, the food, food is beautiful. We have a we have a chef with us, yeah. but we also experience a bit of the Indian food. It's beautiful. We all love a curry. We all love papadoms. Yeah. I lived in the UK, so I know a lot of Indian food as well. So we, we we're just very happy here. I can't complain. Indian spices, Indian spices. Very spicy, yeah. but we like spice. All right, all the best for the semi-finals. Thank you so much. Namaste.